Hello everybody, Sucrose here. Today we're going to play The Long Dark. And, uh, oh, shit. Hello everybody, Sucrose here. That is my twin, never mind him. <clears throat> so today, the idea is uh, I think we're going to get the heck out of Dodge. We're going to take all the stuff we've accumulated in Pleasant Valley. We're going to start trekking it out. <clears throat> um, I don't like the weather. It's, uh, we had quite a little event last night. And, uh, Yeah, so we're going to be heading out of here, back to nicer weather in the coast. Um, honestly, since it's noon today, I think we can go ahead and we can make our way to the little house. If not, um, maybe even the mine. Um, before, uh, before sunset. So... I'm going to take, well, first I'm going to start off by just picking up everything that I want, <clears throat> and then um, and then we'll see what that looks like in terms of weight. Uh, it's probably going to be dramatically overweight, but we'll, we'll see. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Not going to take but one crowbar. Um, We'll never use up all these crit bars. Uh, kind of surprised how much longer. light we actually are. Just this stuff. Let's see what else we've got. Aha. Aha. I forgot. Forgot about the food. All right. Well, one of the nice things is we'll be able to have the this rifle with us, at least for a short, a short ways. Uh, hopefully more reliable than the, not reliable, but more, well, I won't uh, miss, hopefully, but the rifle versus the bow, bow is a bit of, uh, tricky, oh wow, this is our move speed, this is kind of crazy, so you can still move, all right, let's, um, So I'm definitely going to carry these. These boots are interesting because they might offer better defense. Um, I don't think we need those, though. I, I could tear them apart for the leather. Uh, we wound up getting 21 cattail stalks. That's pretty good. I'm tempted to just leave one of these crowbars, I mean all of the crowbars. <clears throat> we have um, a couple in the other region and uh, I'm sure we'll find more. Now some of this I plan on leaving at the house, at the little, the little, uh... okay. Yeah, we'll just leave these. We're at 107. Um, wow. We have... Um, huh. Something seems to be going wrong with the game. Hold on. Let me try that again. Um... Okay, give me one second. I don't know why this is...
doing this, but um, I believe I have fixed it. Okay. Sorry about that. Technical uh, difficulties. I've mentioned before I only have one monitor, so I have uh, <clears throat> a bunch of stuff on the screen. What was I trying to do? I was trying to drop water. We have... Um, I'll start with that. That puts us at 100. Our stats, I mean our uh, slake our thirst. Okay. So we can, we probably have water waiting for us at that little house, but we can always make more before we leave. 94, that's pretty high. But it's starting to get, you know, do doable. All we have to do is get there, right? And there's probably not going to be any bears or anything on the road that we have to run away from. I, I don't know. Who knows? God only knows. If we have another blizzard, things will be, things will get interesting. Um. So, yeah, I, I'd like to take some of it away. I'd like to throw some of it away. My thought with the combat boot is we might get it to the point where we want to fight wolves for food. Um, but until that happens, I think we'll probably just keep these shoes. Um, so these have higher defense, but then these are more wind resistant and water resistant. Who knows about the temperature uh, that goes down when they're all right, well, that's four pounds. We could leave the lantern and take... Actually, you can't take the fuel out of the lantern, I don't think. You can only deconstruct the lantern and, uh, and get fuel. But I think we have a lantern in the mine, and we have uh, multiple lanterns elsewhere. So let's just go ahead and drop that. We're at 87. This is totally feasible. Um, honestly, I'm, I'm going to go for it at 87. Uh, <laughs> I just realized we've got more to get. So we've taken everything out of there, but... Uh, our little pals, Fluffy and company. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. Um, actually, we've read that sewing primer, haven't we? Um, okay, let's see what we're at now. Back up to 95. Great googly moogly. We have read the sewing primer. The this cured guts are going to smell. Um, my th thought was that we would have uh, dried them by the time we leave, but I kind of just don't even want to stay around anymore. Um, I've kind of got my heart set on leaving. The problem is, we haven't been able to repair our, our wolf coat yet. Shoot. So we could stick around. 
I really, I really just wanted to go. It's like uh, you get a little bit antsy, you know. And that's kind of how I was feeling. I think it's because of the storm. What? Uh, don't like this place, but. I think it makes a whole lot of sense. As, as uh, sad as it is to stick around. So, um, to make it easy, what I'll do is I'll put all the stuff we want in a particular locker, and then we can just take it all and uh, save a little bit of time. So then now we have the question of <clears throat> what do we want to do? Um, while we're here. And I, I mean, don't know. Don't want to kill a bear. Because then we have to wait for that to dry. Um, we'll just take another look around. I guess we'll go away from the mountains. Kind of, uh... uh toward the right, if you were to look at the... the, uh, farmhouse. That's my thought. Uh, we might want to change a coat. I think we have on a heavy coat. Let's see. Um, we, we don't want these socks. I don't know. I took them because we can tear them in the cloth, but... So I've had a situation before where I actually had to tear the clothes I was wearing up. Um, to make a snow shelter or something like that. Actually, to make bandages, maybe? Like, it just had no cloth, and I was in the middle of the woods, and uh, I was cut. You have to, to do what you got to do. So we have this decent ski jacket versus the new urban parka. It's not as good. Um, I think we'll leave the windbreaker. Uh, it's good. It might be a good outer layer. But I'm not really impressed. It's so hard to know. We should repair it, I, I suppose. That's certainly something we can take time doing. Um, so these two are both 4.4. This one is a great outer layer. I mean, great, like. It's a good uh, replacement for the wolf coat. We want to save a little bit of weight. Now as an inner layer, Looks like this is slightly better. Um, but uh, this is actually waterproof uh, quite a bit. So, yeah, I guess I'm not. <clears throat> I'm not sold on these coats, but I think they're interesting. And it would be nice to have that opportunity. So, I think we'll still probably carry them. Did I take off? Okay. Alright, bedroll, bloop. Cattails. One of knives. 
kind of a pain in the butt. I, I apologize. But um, it just it just makes sense. The cured gut, I'm going to turn into lime unless the other cured gut doesn't dry first, um, in which case we use it to repair. stuff. Stuff will um, keep us alive for a long time. I was thinking about, it's kind of funny because on the one hand we could just sit indoors and wait to pass time to uh, just increase our the time we live, but uh, it's, it's like they say. You know, uh, is that time worth living? Right, let's put this. This is basically junk. I think we have put that too. We're at 45. Now that's been our travel weight. Um, I'm going to carry this wood and, and a stick. Uh, like, I, bet, I think that may have saved our life at the at the car last night, being able to make that fire to dry our clothes. It was, it was uh, spooky. So we've only got a tiny bit of meat, a third of a pound, barely enough for a hamburger. And then we've got all these uh, sodas, the MRE. So we're either going to have to kill something to eat, or we're going to have to eat these food bits. It might make sense to shoot a deer. Because it will hopefully die instantly. And then we can eat that until we leave. Uh, and I, I could try to shoot it with the bow, but I have a feeling that uh, he would only be nicked. And God only knows. So, okay, we're back to walking around mode. This is going to take another couple of days, I think. So there's actually deer right there. If we get away from the barn away from the wind. We're actually still warm. So maybe it makes sense to use the bow if it's, if it's warm. Problem is they could go God only knows where. Just you know super far. So we played around a little bit with this back at the... Oh, shit. Well, two misses. But the arrows should be... What? It's actually blowing? Oh, 
Oh shit. So we connected with that one, huh? Splat. He's going all sorts of crazy. I mean, I can hear him. Could be a different one. I don't even know. That doesn't look natural. Now which one's bleeding? Is it this fella? Uh, that's um. I'm going to just assume it's not that deer. Oh, there he is. That's got my arrow in him. Get, he's get, fit. He ran through us. He's kind of small looking, huh? I wonder if that actually correlates to how much meat he has. Wait, is that him? You can't, you can't swing around like a, like, like in a shooter. I really just want to keep an eye on him, but didn't expect him to come running through me. Like, where is he? But that is that him? I think that's the one that was up on the ridge there. It's not cold. This is the, oh, it's well, there's blood, but he's been all over here, right? Like, that could be him? I don't even know. No, that's him. I can't get in because of the fence. Just don't come towards me, you stupid deer. We're really slow. I'm just getting tired, I think. Go, go towards the field. So, it hit him? I think that that's what they call a graze. Um, because it did spurt blood, but the arrow did not stick into him. This is ridiculous. He's just, he's just doing circles. I, I, I guess I should try to hit him, but uh, uh, to hit him again, you know? So people say all sorts of stuff about how the bleed works but you certainly hope that even though the grays didn't, uh, oh god, 
the wolves better not get my deer. That is him. Still bleeding. Come on, man. I don't understand why he's going in circles. I don't want him to stop either. All right. 21 pounds. He's no little fella. He's a big one. Um, just going to get his meat. We don't have time to dry the hide. I'm not sure I can carry much more. And now it's back to to cook. I I would normally say that that would last for a couple days, but uh, she's she's hungry. Well, we broke an arrow and we shot God only knows how many. Um, each time you shoot them, they, they get damaged. Um, I'm not going to say that that was fantastic. But it was pretty good. We didn't sh uh, shoot a bullet. And we've got plenty of arrows waiting for us back in. Coastal Highway. Um, and the best part, we didn't get eaten by a wolf. Alright. So, I'm going to grab some wood. Um, let's see, we can make, I think we've got at least one thing of rose hips upstairs. Let's just go ahead and make it. After all, we're trying to <clears throat> do stuff. Use this time somewhat usefully. Oh, we left some food open. Take this. We'll use it to repair some stuff. And there's the rose hips. Oh, stop it, about it. Might as well go ahead and eat these last little bits. Harvest our arrow. The fact that we can keep getting these arrowheads back is kind of amazing. Um, I think we've only lost one arrow. And we got the dude who we shot, but he didn't have the arrow. Knowing what we know now, it may have glanced off of him. But um, we've got something like 40 
arrows back at the place. Uh, we're limited primarily by birch, and we have five more birch. I think that makes 15 more arrows. So, pretty cool situation, I think. Let's see, should we... I'm just going to cook. thinking about maybe sleeping first but uh, we have nowhere to go tomorrow you know so it's not like it matters that we get up early I'm already thinking about the next map I want to go to. And I think it's the... Uh, we go back to, to Mystery Lake. And then head to the other side of the train tracks. We've already seen where this side takes us. Let's see where the other side takes us. Um, and I've never been there. So, I'm pretty excited. This place I've been to, I, I just, it was only like one time, because I, I don't really know what's here. Um, I must have died. Should use sticks. I don't rest soon. I'm gonna faint. You're not gonna faint. So you can game a lot of this stuff. Um, you apparently get experience points for each item you cook. And um, I think you get uh, corpse carving experience for each time you carve, although I'm not quite sure about that one. And so sometimes what people do is they'll carve tiny little pieces of meat and they'll cook each piece of meat. And it doesn't, it takes the same amount of time in game, but you get more experience for it, which is just, I don't know, it sucks that you could do it. I, I hate that that's a valid strategy. But it's just so scummy. Um, not sure why I put more wood on. We don't really need it. But I might as well use it to make a little bit of water. And we're good for at least two days. Maybe three on eating meat. Ahead and fill right up before we hit the sack. Um, before I before I go to sleep, let me remember to put this stuff down on the ground. Oh no, I didn't actually get any. Um, I'm thinking. I was thinking about uh, guts, but I didn't actually get it. So, all right, let's get let's go to sleep. I don't know if we ever checked uh, in the back of the truck.
So for the stream titles, I use the number of days that are in the journal. And just notice that it seems bigger than the days survived that came up. And I'm thinking your first, it's a, it's a, like a fence post problem. Your, once you get past your first day, you've survived a day. I don't know, something like that. But uh, I'm, I'm spacing on these. I don't know what the difference is. Still dark. Even with all that, we wore ourselves slam out. And we still couldn't sleep through the night. Oh, never mind. It's just really dark. It's like midday. <laughs> uh, let's grab some of this. Let's... Um, Let's, let's keep the meat in the middle one. So we'll carry two. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, repair to kind of uh, use some time up, but I'm not gonna do it now. Instead, we're just going to go text roll. Fifty-four. Ah, oh, the gun. Okay. I'm kind of glad we didn't shoot it. I like, I like using the bow, even though it's not really as easy. So we're at forty-five now. We've got four arrows. Why are we so heavy? Oh, there goes the wind. I mean, we've got some sticks, we've got some water, but I don't know quite why we're so heavy. At any rate, we're stuck on some stuff. Let's head out, take a look, gauge the weather, figure out what we're going to do today. Unpleasant as usual. One sec. So it's cold, windy, snowy, uh, the usual kind of crap. My idea was to explore this way, so we'd walk straight. Whoa. So there's a wolf, but the wolf was afraid of something. Could it be our coat? Or what? I mean, what else could it be? A bear? What are wolves afraid of? The dark? I don't think they're afraid of the dark, sadly. I don't know, it's a bit of a mystery. So it's not too, too cold, um, but the weather's so shit, I don't want to go too far from the house, so. God, those noises. I'm gonna head back over here. Grab a, oh, it's getting colder. Yep, see, this is, this is what I mean. This is why I want to get out of this place. This is a death trap. We go on one little trip. 
Is that more? We do have uh, a fair good bit of meat on us. Don't make me use this. I'm armed. Um, I was going to look for more lichen. Oh shit. There's wolves everywhere. Okay. Back to the barn. To warm up at least. Shivering's a very strange feeling. It doesn't seem to help too much, honestly. But I suppose, uh, I suppose it must help. Hi, D. Lee. Welcome. Must be playing Stalker. Uh, we're playing custom, but yeah, it's based on Stalker. We um, turned off some of the shitty stuff like uh, uh, Cabin Fever. Um, but all the wolf and animal behavior is Stalker, so yeah, it's it's a real pain in the butt. <clears throat> I've <laughs> I thought we would die a lot sooner than we did. But the next time we play, for sure, I'm going to turn the wolves down, and I'm going to turn the, the environment up. Make the weather scarier. Yeah. It's, uh, it's definitely the zombies of the long dark. Um, but yeah, welcome. Welcome to the channel. We're just kind of killing some time until this wolf pelt cures. It's 87%. And then we're going to repair our coat and we're going to head back to the coastal highway where we've made our home. We're going to bring all this loot with us. And I just didn't think it made sense to hug, lug this uh, wolf pelt all the way. When it was almost dry. So we're just uh, pretty much just killing time around the area. I don't know Pleasant Valley very well, so we've only we've only gone uh, to places near the road. But um, I was going to take a look towards the mountains a bit on our. Well, I don't know what the directions are, but this way. Uh, towards this bear thing. Um, just to see what's over there. The weather hasn't really been cooperating, but the weather in Pleasant Valley seems to be much worse than uh, Coastal Highway as well. Uh, overall, not a very nice place. Actually, we well, we found the communications tower, which I assume is Signal Hill. We found that a couple days ago. Um, but I, I'd prefer if you don't spoil me. Uh, I think it's more fun to get lost and to find stuff by accident. Um, but basically, we followed the road and shit. Let's, uh, let's let's do a little a little needle and thread work. I think there's no reason to go out there. It's too cold. Um, yeah, no worries. So, I mean, I've played this a lot, and so I know uh, the problem is I've played it a lot a long time ago, and so I know Mis um, Mystery Lake fairly well, um, and I know Coastal Highway pretty okay, because that was the first and second maps. But after that, I don't really know much. Um, 
So it's it's been kind of fun to see what we can do. We have to be pretty careful because the wolves are everywhere. But we managed to find the farmhouse. We managed to find that communications tower. There was so much stuff in that tower, including a third rifle. Um, which we're probably going to leave in this region. But uh, we'll take the bullets and everything. All right. So I was going to repair some stuff just to see what it would look like. Let's grab some leather. Grab one of these bad boys. Uh, we'll make like and stuff. We could we could cook this coffee. I think it's much heavier actually cooked because it's got water. Um, what else? Not sure about the bandages if they weigh less. Uh, do we have, where's the claw? So it looks like the same. Same weight, I think. Um, all right, what were we going to repair? Oh, there's some claw. So let's see, that doesn't really need repair. Ski jacket, maybe. Let's do that. Honestly, why not? Practice, uh, practice tailoring. All right, let's do this first. Oh, actually, it's skilled. Let's do... Really? Socks are skilled? I mean, I, I don't know if I agree with that. Oh, that's my repair skill. Gotcha. I did not realize until just now that was my repair. I thought everything was beginner, and then that's what made me so surprised it was skilled. Wow. Whoops. Uh, we also don't have to carry the sewing kit if we use it up. So that's another advantage. So I think good good enough. We can get an idea. New, brand new. I do wish we had uh, dried a deer skin. Um, I think I'm just going to repair these because it's less stuff to bring and might as well it kind of wastes the leather but I don't feel too bad about it keeping our weight down is always good all right let's see how this stuff looks now So the ski jacket, it's kind of middling, and it's middling weight, too. This is almost no heat. It's 50% uh, water resistant, but the wolves can cut 60. So if we wanted to go ultra light, actually the windbreaker might be a good top layer. Actually... Um, 
yeah, 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 yeah. The, the pea coat, maybe. For like medium weight. Pea coat is really water resistant. So this might be just a replacement for the for the wolf hide to save a couple pounds. But if we wanted to go really light, this might be a good outer layer. The ski jacket, on the other hand, it's not that useful. It's heavier and I mean it is warmer. I, I'm still probably gonna carry them all. But but the windbreaker I think can be useful, so I'm glad we checked it out. like it goes in that's junk I guess we got it from chopping the tree sock socks are quite heavy So it's pretty late, but I'm going to go take a, uh, I'm go take a look at weather just to see, maybe we can take a little run, oh my god, I'm stuck. Let's place these lights. We need the meat, but we've got it. I think I'll grab the guts too, just I it's probably a bad idea to carry them. But there they are. I think this wolf uh he wanted trouble. He made me do it. I didn't want to do it. want it to be left alone. Mind my own business. Um, so, oh, the guts. Uh, I was like, why, why do we smell? I mean, other than the fact that she hasn't taken a shower for three months. probably forget about those, but there they are. 16 minutes, no big deal. What? Ho! Ho! The wolf was standing up. The wolf was standing up. Did you guys see that? Holy shit. Uh, Asmodeus, welcome. Um... Thanks for the thanks for the bits. I, I I really appreciate it. I I'm very I'm very happy you're here. <laughs> We've got a bear coming right up to the house. 
I'm I'm thinking that's uh that's what scared the wolf away that's earlier. Tasks, but night can't be far behind. He uh he must have not. This wolf is I mean this bear is just like, hey what's going on? Oh he's not happy. Let's not play with a bear. Whew. Um. Asmodeus, what's going on, man? Welcome. We actually did Long Dark uh, last night, too. I'm not sure if you saw the video. Uh, it was... We had a very interesting experience. Um, we almost died out in the... in a blizzard. Um, I really thought that, that... I thought that that was it. And I was, I was telling myself, oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's just a game. But uh, we pulled through. Yeah, man, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I really do. Um, uh, all right, you're not going to stick around? Well, thanks for, thanks for dropping by. I'm probably going to try to do Long Dark. Wednesday and Thursday as well. Um, we'll see. Wow. Okay. My my. I'm just. I'm all full of adrenaline because of that wolf. Um, both killing him and him coming back from the dead. <sighs> this bear is bothering us now. Um. I'm not really sure what to do. Should we? I mean, if I had that meat, I'd cook it. <laughs> Asmodeus, thank you again. Uh, <laughs> a few more bits to give me motivation. Um, I, I will do my best. I will do my best to... Avoid the wolves and the bears, and uh, bring us bring us home to safety. Um, thank you very much. Uh, I was kind of curious if the so yeah the so the software actually picks up your additional bits. Uh, super cool. You watched my Gungeon Run? Oh, man. Well, I, I'm glad you liked it. I'm really bad at that game. I'm really... <laughs> I'm really bad. But it was only the second time I played, so I don't... I don't feel too bad about it. Um, I'll probably play that, like, once every week or two. I try to mix up a bunch of games. On the weekends, I usually play something different. And then uh, on the weekdays, it's usually one or two games. Um... But you probably know that, so you can see the videos. Um, didn't want to say what you want to argue, yeah. It's true, it's true. I've lost sight of the bear. I sort of thought he'd be nearby, but I don't see him, so I'm going to scrounge while he's gone. Moonlighter? What's Moonlighter? I've never heard of it. Yeah, I don't see that bear at all. But we have some more food to cook. It's sort of like Gungeon. I've never heard of it. Everybody always talks about um, nu Nuclear Throne or something like that. A roguelike light. I really like Spelunky. I kind of want to play Spelunky on 
the stream, but um, all right, we're at ninety-one percent. It's only going to be a couple more days. Let's cook this meat. Make a bit of water. Um, don't really have anything else to do, I think, tonight. No fishing, no fishing, but we're leaving, we're leaving Pleasant Valley this, hopefully this stream. And so then um, we'll be back in Coastal Highway. We'll, we'll definitely do some fishing. Um, before going out on another adventure again, I kind of want to hang, hang out in that area. Uh, where it's relatively safe and I know where I'm going. You're a couple streams behind. Yeah, ba basically we've just explored this area f for a few streams. Come on, little fire. And now that we've taken everything that isn't nailed down, uh, we're going to head back to to Coastal Highway. As soon as this skin finishes drying, we're going to wow, we're going to repair our coat and we're going to leave. Um, it, hopefully that should go smoothly. It's two fails in a row. At eighty-five percent, that's pretty. Uh, that's pretty unlikely. Come on, little fire. Busy weekends. Really? Going out and doing stuff. Um, oh, I meant to tell you, Perfect. you should drop by the, the Discord if you're into that kind of thing. Um, I tend to post what I'm playing before before I play, and um, it's just a good place to leave me. To, we, we can talk about like what to stream or that kind of stuff. It's just a chat thing. Uh, the link is the link is below. But <laughs> thanks again for the bits. Um, the link is uh, is below. It should be. I don't know if you're on mobile or or not, but if you're on desktop, you can see it. Um, I can put the link into chat. If... Oh, oh, oh. One second. Cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. You know, not a lot goes on, but I'm hoping, hoping more starts to go on. Uh, um, yeah, but thanks, thanks for dropping by. I, you, you have been very kind. And. Uh, and very nice. <laughs> and I'll do my best to keep us alive till we can go fishing. Cool deal. All right, I'll see you then. Enjoy your night or your day. Uh, might as well. Might as well use the time. We don't have anything else to do. It's just, just about this pelt is done. Okay. Well, I think I'll use up the wolf meat first because the wolf meat has fewer calories uh, per kilogram. Um, I 
I don't need all this water, but what else are you going to do with a burning fire? Let's see if there's anything we need to drop off, and then we'll head to bed. Let's, uh, let's put some of the meat away. Alright, this is all wolf. Probably don't need more than that for tomorrow. And we've got more feathers. We've probably got enough feathers now that we, you know, don't need to pick them up. Um, I think we're limited by either arrowheads or, or uh, birch, but they're so light. We did break another arrow, though, and that is a concern. If we break all of our arrows, or even just one more, I'm, I'm kind of worried about just walking home because uh, we'll probably be attacked. So then I would have to carry the gun all the way, which is like nine pounds. So let's not get into any fights. If we can help it. It's a nice, uh, nice day to be indoors. I don't know where I am. Okay. So let's go check the pelt. 98%, so it's probably going to finish today. Um, and then we'll do the repair. I don't know how long it takes, probably like an hour or two. So we might be able to leave today. <laughs> he says, the blizzard raging outside. Holy shit, and that wolf scared the fuck out of me again. It stood up, and I'm not going to remember the next time. So apparently the wolves start standing up, and then the game puts them down. God, why? <laughs> why? Why would they do that to me? Oh, God. Uh... Anyway, cold, 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 windy, windy, snowy, snowy. Um, with any luck, it will abate by the time we repair. Um, repair our jacket. Let's, let's take a look kind of to, to take stock here. Um, we're nearly at the last level of carcass harvesting. Nearly at the last level of cooking. Um, honestly, we could practice starting fires. Um, that's something I think I'd want to do with a, with a magnifying glass out in the nice clear day. That way you don't waste matches, but... I, and I, I, people game that, too. Uh, I don't even know the tricks, but there's some kind of trick to, to game that. But we're not going to do that. We might practice. Um, up to level three with rifle, three with archery. Mending's at three. We never... We never drew anything on this map.
Um, I think it only takes like 15 minutes. You get a little circle around you. I really wish they would do that in more depth, the mapping stuff. Like, you get up on a high mountain and you can see everywhere. Maybe it should actually work based on what you see, that kind of stuff. But right now it's just like a, you draw a circle around you. And it has to be clear, clear skies. Um, let's just drop that. Kind of messy, but... Uh, so I think the there are guts below the pelt, if I remember right. But at the very least, there's guts upstairs. And uh, they dry much quicker anyway. But still. that lantern that we were going to leave here, don't we? Let's play with it. You know what I was saying about always missing something? I don't want to go back over there. really see. See what we've been bumping into this whole time. Is there something under the truck? That would be cute. See. Oh yeah, I forgot about Bubba over here. goes to show you how cold this winter has made my heart. The long winter. The long dark winter. And that's it. We did Maybe upstairs, but I'm honestly scared to go back over that thing. I don't want to break my leg. Oh. Okay. So, let's take an hour nap, after which um, hopefully the pelt should be dry and the Blizzard will be abated. Well, maybe one of them at least. Ah, still 99. Sounds terrible outside. To be honest, we were kind of lucky the first few days we were here. We had decent weather. Um, but lately it's been terrible. Uh, I don't know how, what the stalker settings are for, for weather, but the game, the custom game, allows you to set it so that over time, the the weather gets on average worse so let's say the average day is like 10 degrees maybe at the beginning of the game and then 60 days in the average temperature might be negative 10 and then after you know 10 months or something the average temperature is like negative 30 I don't, I don't know exactly but something like that and so then you'll have good days and bad days but but on average it'll get worse um, I've played with that before and it gets to the point where you 
can hardly go outside. It's it's every every time you go outside, it's triple arrows. Um, it's kind of crazy. All right, let's put this back up. Um, so most of the times when I play, when I have played, I've played completely differently than I've played on stream. And I mostly just hole up in a dark room and survive. Which is, it's kind of not fun, but it's somehow satisfying. Um, we've taken a lot more risks on stream. Because I know it would be boring otherwise. Like, it's not boring for me, but even, even as we're playing now, I think it's boring for some people. Is a watch pot never boils? If we go outside, I'm gonna be tempted to kill some. So let's take another nap. I can see so clearly the next time we. Oh dear. It's got worse. Um, when we die, I want to play where we don't go inside. And I, I'll allow snow, snow forts, or whatever they're called, snow shelters. And we'll just live outside. All right, we've got a wolf pelt. These are. Not quite cured, but we've got some upstairs. So let's go. Let's go repair our coat. And um, if the weather gets nice, we can at least make it to the little house today. But I, I don't know if that's going to happen. So we need guts. Just do it. Uh... <laughs> hey, caveman. <laughs> you like that, huh? I'm glad. Um, I guess we just go to it directly. Yeah, repair. It takes two hours. Um, let's go for it. <laughs> I mean, it's true, you know? You. A wolf comes running at you, what are you going to do? All right, 100% on our coat. We've used up that pelt that we've been uh, curing for, uh, I don't even know how long it's been, 10 days, however long it takes. Sounds like the wind has died down, so I'm going to make a break for it. Let's take all of our stuff. This is a lot of stuff. This is a lot of stuff. How do, how do we get so much stuff? Are we even transferring it? Okay, there it is. With this much gear. She's up to 90. Alright, so we've prepared this locker as containing all the stuff we want. We're at 92 pounds. That's kind of crazy. Um, it's self-defense. Yeah, exactly. We, we came out earlier tonight and there was one just sitting there like five feet from us. And so we killed it right next to the door. And every time we go out, there's some kind of a bug where the wolf stands and then it sits down. 
dead. <laughs> but it starts standing. Uh, hopefully it's still there, and you can see. But it, it freaked me out, like, twice. Um, so we're, we're pretty heavy. That, uh, if that wasn't clear. Let's drop a cloth. Oh, we don't even, we don't even have the meat. Yeah, it, it's a zombie wolf for sure. Um, all right. This is going to really slow us down. My god. 102 pounds. So that's not bad. I mean, I am considering this. The problem is we smell and we're going to attract a lot of attention. <sighs> this is pretty stupid. All right, let's go back through and see if we want to leave. I would like to get under 100. Um, I guess I can leave the, oh, oh, I can't see that, hold on. Um, Weird. I cannot see that. Popcorn. Uh, okay. My chat thing is kind of acting funny today. All right, we don't need a torch. We need a stinking torch. Can opener. We don't. We don't need no can opener. It's ridiculous. We're under a hundred. Um, okay, this is pretty slow. This is this is our rock speed. Um, and now I could pick up this gut, but that's just that's ridiculous, right? We can get gut anywhere. That we can get gut anywhere. So So let's Oh, it's ninety nine percent. I I kinda wanna turn it into a fishing line. Let's take a quick peek. Wait, you can go through here, right? Look, did you see it? Isn't that horrible? Here, watch. In case you missed it. All right, watch for the wolf. He's coming right for me. Oh, no, he's not. He's a zombie. Like, how horrible is that? I Twice it made me flip my lid. Yeah, exactly. And every time you go out, it's the same thing. I mean, the first time it was real. And it was like, I, it was a good thing I had the bow already out. Uh, or we would have been fighting him. But I shot him with the bow. But the second and third times, <laughs> he was a zombie. Uh, all right. Uh, it's really stupid to walk around with a lot of gear. Like, it's just stupid. But it means we don't have to come back and pick up stuff. Which is, you know, that that's also dangerous. Am I really going to watch this fresh gut? Let's bring it upstairs. And then uh, 
We'll drop it on the floor up there, and I'll go ahead and fix this other one. Turn it into line, I mean. Honestly, I think we can just we can make it in the fishing line if we need to wait. So this will cut down on our weight, and it'll cut down on our smell. Quite the conundrum. Yeah, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be kind of aggressive though, and uh, we're gonna carry back about 100 pounds. Well. Try to carry back on Actually, you know what? It's it's really shitty because um, we're gonna have more stuff that we left stuff at that first house to carry back, and we left stuff at the mine to carry back. So um, we're not gonna be able to get everything, but we'll carry all this stuff at least as far as we can. And then if we need ever need to come back and get it, it won't be too far in. But I think a hundred pounds, especially when so, so much of it is food and so much of it is water, it's actually not that bad. Um, I'm more worried about the smell. Uh, So the the deer the pants the deer pants are the same as the wolf vest. You need one hide and one gut. <clears throat> That's not too bad. We've been wearing these. Um, These work pants. But actually. Oh no, okay, they're warmer. Alright, 2.5 and 1.9. I mean, these need repair, but these are warmer. But they're a lot heavier, like twice as heavy. So let's. Let's actually leave. One pair, this this pair of work pants. It's three pounds, and I think if anything, we won't, we'll go with lighter pants in the future. So there's three pounds. Um, I guess I'll just go take another nap. I mean, oh, that's done. All right, let's do these. It takes 15 minutes. The other one should be dry. Uh, and this is super light. Let's see. 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.04. So how heavy are hooks? 0.04. Okay, so there's no there's no weight benefit to combine them, which makes sense. All right. So we shouldn't have any more gut on us. We're still at two smelly level two. Um, because of all this meat. Hey, pale. Yeah, bit reset. That's sorry, man. But now you've got two two types of opportunities to be on the leaderboard. I've got at the bottom uh, over there <laughs> or wait, I don't even know if it flips it, but whatever. Uh, on one side of the screen it's a running, a rolling window, 30 days. And then on Twitch itself it's a, it's a month to month, so it'll reset 
July 1st. All right, we're about to make a run for it. Wait, where's the gun? Did we put the gun in a different closet? Where's the gun? We almost left without the gun. Oh my god, we're so slow. If the wind is blowing against us, I don't even know if we'll be able to move. We just left the gun in there. Now we're at 105. Fuck. That's that's pretty rough. 105 is pretty rough. So we have some tools back home, and I think you can repair tools with metal. I think. I'm not really sure how that works. But we're leaving the tools. Uh. Oh, I feel really bad about this. All right, we're going to be leaving the wolf steak. All right, puts us under 100. I think we're ready to go again. You missed the number one button. Yeah. But hey, at least you've still got the the Binopus um, emote. Uh, only two people in the world have the Binopus emote. So you're very special, Tail. All right. Let's go ahead and eat and drink and get ready to be a, a wolf magnet because we are carrying all this meat and we are going home. All right, the road is this way. Wow, that's really pretty. Um, we're just going to go to the road, and we're going to follow the road. That should be the safest route. I think we could save time by cutting across, but I don't trust the wolves. You think I'm lying? What do you think I'm lying about? You being special? It's kind of funny because in English, special is a bit of a double entendre. I don't know if it's that way in German, but... Special also means ne special needs. Uh, like someone who is not quite all together. There's the deer that we're actually carrying right now. Now, can we get across this fence. I don't even we can, I guess we can go down the little river thing. To differ God, a very special person. Uh, I mean, I think right now there's only two people who are subscribing. But, um, oh, me. <laughs> you mean me, huh? There, there are only two subscribers, though. Uh, but you're right, I can use the Binobus anytime. Uh, I have to pay myself. And oh dear, it's a little dark. I hate coming up on ridges because you don't know what's what's above them.
All right, so far so good. It, it's a little dark, but I can still see pretty well. And I see no movement. Tonight we'll stop at that little house that we started at. Or I suppose we spent our first night in a car, but... Um, we won't be going back to that car, hopefully. There's still sort of the matter of not getting lost on the way out. So, Pale, you've missed all sorts of adventures. I know you think this, this game is boring, but uh, last night we almost died in a blizzard. And it was... I mean... I made some decisions. I feel like those decisions saved us, but we could have easily have died. I really thought we were going to die. Um... All sorts of cool stuff. We've uh, shot, hunted uh, wolves with bows. All sorts of neat little... I don't see anything. I'm kinda scared that I don't see anything. Oh, there's the bridge. Um, we were attacked by wolves at one point on a mountain. I climbed up this rope. And there was a wolf waiting at the top. We attacked. And we chased him. And lost him. Hell! Thank you for the bits. I know you're just trying to get on the leaderboard, but I still appreciate it. Satisfy you for today. It will satisfy me for uh, for a long time. I very much appreciate it. Now. I I don't know why you'd want to encourage me to playing this game. <laughs> you missed the fun. We almost died in a blizzard. I mean, it's exciting, you know. It really is exciting. That's what's so great about this game is all the stuff that we've worked towards. You can lose just in an instant. And you can't get it back. There's no saves. Um, all right, we're almost to the house where we're going to stay for the night. This is as fast as we can walk into this wind. I have a feeling we missed a whole bunch of stuff on this map, but uh, we went to the end of the road, and <laughs> well, I, I appreciate it. I think I see a wolf over to the right. He's not going to be happy. I think he can smell us. But the wind is in our favor. It's not blowing towards him. He barked. He barked, but uh, he can't get us in here. All right. Look at all this stuff we've got waiting for us. More things to carry. Um... Yeah, I understand. It's it's a very different game than the other ones I played. I I thought a lot about you know what what should I play on stream. At the end, I just decided I'm just gonna play what I like to play. And if you know if people don't like it, they'll they'll watch or they won't watch, but they'll watch when they want to. And that's fine with me. Um, the bullet situation is fantastic. We've We've basically switched to bow and arrow. The only reason we have a gun is because we found one and we're um, we're carrying all this stuff out. So we looted this whole region, or at least the part that was accessible um, to the road. And now we're going to carry it all back to our little cabin on the lake. 
uh, and Coastal Highway. Oh, we have all the stuff to carry. Here are the quality tools. A book, a knife, so much that we have to carry. I mean, we don't have to do anything, but... Let's just put it in our inventory, see where we're at. she's not complaining. She usually complains when I load her down. Hundred thirteen, we're not even finished. Um but yeah, we've used maybe one bullet in like four streams. Honestly, I think I'll even leave the scrap metal. So that's 116. At 116 pounds, she moves at a snail's pace. I don't know if you can see that, but... Um, and that doesn't even include whatever else that's in here. Oh, yeah. We've, we've only explored three maps, and I think there's ten maps. Um, once we kind of chill out and unwind back at the lake, we'll go for another map and we'll explore that. And I have never been to that map, so, uh, it'll be fun. Yeah, we're, we're pretty heavy, so we're going to have to start making decisions. Um, I think one of those decisions is we're going to leave the rifle. So let's, uh, let's unload the rifle. Actions. Unload. Don't want to harvest it. That would be bad. All right. So there's there's nine pounds right off the bat. Um. All this food. I mean, we're gonna eat some of it. Good. Lord. Oh, there's stuff in the freezer, isn't it? Oh, there's food in the freezer. <laughs> oh, we're back up to 112 pounds. Oh, man. Well, we may just have to leave all the deer meat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to bed. Uh, and we'll, we'll deal with this in the morning. We could just goof around here and explore for for a day to kind of eat through the deer. That would be efficient. And there may be some things to see. Uh, but I kind of I kind of want to get out of this region. There's too many blizzards. So I don't know. I'm not sure. I've never I've never tried to put so much. Um, I would imagine, even if it's just like effective, uh, like effectively, you can't move. Um, she's pretty much rested. Oh, you know what we can do? What am I looking for? I'm looking for this. Oh, that's been red. Huh. All right, it's too dark to read. If we, if we risk it, let's actually put the meat in the freezer just for a second. So we can go outside and we can read this book if it's not too cold. Holy balls. Well, I think it might be too cold. Uh, if not, you can put everything at once in your pockets and juggernaut your way home. Yeah, the, the problem is, like, if you get into a blizzard, 
what are you gonna do? You just drop it all? I mean, you could. Um, but you, then you have to make that decision while you're being bombarded with the blizzard. Like this. Like if we ran into this weather while we were moving. The awesome if there was a turtle shell in nation. Put on a rock sack that was way too heavy. Um, I mean, 98 pounds? That's... I, I wouldn't want to carry that for very long. The fact that she can carry it at all is pretty impressive. She can climb a mountain with it. Let's see. So... Are there, there's two doors to this place. Maybe it's cold. Maybe it's warmer on this side. Did you hear that? The wolf is waiting for us. So we can't read outside tonight. Um. Shit. What are we going to drop? So, so much stuff I should drop. I should decide... Here's that bug again. See how it doesn't have an arrow? Um, the arrows indicate that you have it selected, that you have it equipped. There's no arrow, but if we go... to here... Oh, we don't have it equipped. Ha 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 ha. Just kidding. There's no bug. But we did see that bug before. It's just not this. Um, let's ditch the socks. That's like half a pound. Let's ditch the sports socks for sure. I'm I'm very happy that we've accumulated uh, 58 cattail stalks at 150 calories a pop. Uh, I can't do the math, but uh, that's a, a while that we can survive off of cattails. Um, Without the meat, we're back under 100 pounds. And I shouldn't carry the meat. So maybe I'll just carry a little bit of it. And that's, that's decent, really. Um, we're, too, we're too awake to sleep through the night, and we don't have anything to do. Because we can't go outside. Um, so I think this is one of those times I have to just pass the time. Uh, I don't like to do this because it burns more calories than sleeping. It's not an efficient use of your time. Use of the character's time. Drink all the sodas in your rucksack. You won't be able to tell if you lost your foot. Frostbite or diabetes? Yeah. We'll spread them out. We'll spread them out. They're um, they're actually pretty neat because they give you a liquid and they give you food. So they're kind of nice. I don't think they're very weight effective, but. Um, let's let's actually go ahead and drink one, since they're not very weight effective. More 
finish off with water. Sounds pretty shitty outside. Not that I would go out in this. We, so I was trying to say before, we don't exactly know where to go. Um, we follow the road, and it's on the right, and there's a fallen tree. That's all I remember. Uh, we took the road the wrong way. And then we slept the night in the car, and then we went over a river. We got it all mixed up. So I have no idea if we'll actually be able to find this uh, entrance to the mine. I wonder if I should take the gun outside just to kill that wolf. Maybe, maybe he'll be gone. By the time I go out. I don't know. Don't know. The heaviest thing in our backpack is our cattails. Cured rabbit pelt. I guess I, we can't take these. There's so much stuff that we can get in the other map. Stacy's grape soda, the only artificial grapes you have, and the frozen apocalypse. Yeah, who's Stacy? Nobody needs this anymore. Is she alive? Um. All right. Should we carry back the the wolf pelt? On the one hand, of course, it's a cured wolf pelt. You just can use those to do things. On the other hand, no, of course not. You can get wolves wherever you are. They're all over the place. We just leave it. It seems so wasteful. <laughs> but it's just more weight, so I think we have to. She may not be, but her soda is. That's it's almost uh, poetic. Uh, can we read yet? Still can't read. I wonder if we can... I wonder what happens if we read and the wolf comes and gets us while we're reading. Holy shit. It's too cold. Can't even, um, can't even spend an hour outside. Okay. Back to bed. Best idea to test this late in the game. Um, if you look at the other people who are playing the long dark, I, I was looking earlier, some people are going after 500 days. Um, we haven't even made it to 100. All right, should be, yeah, it looks like dawn is coming up. Let's pop outside, see what it looks like. It's cold. It's awful cold. Too cold. Too, too cold. Oh shit, did you hear that? This is a wolf. He's running away from something. <laughs> Have you ever, uh, do you live in a cold place, caveman? I guess let's try to sleep again. Uh, 
So the only thing I can think... Oh, we can read now inside. I don't know. Why am I trying to go outside to read? That's kind of silly. Let's see if a wolf can kill you while reading a book in a cold night. I mean... I'm trying to be efficient, pal. Efficiency requires sometimes sacrifices be made. Let's eat a little bit. Check the weather. Okay. So I'm going to Let, let's let's check. Let's check. Let's check the weather. It's not bad. There's that wolf. Okay. So it, it's cold. It's, it's one arrow cold, which means we will eventually freeze, but it'll take a while. But the weather could change at any point. All we need to do is get to the cave. If we get to the cave, we can sleep, we can warm up, we can make fire. Uh, on the third hand, I don't exactly know where to go. Um, We've got a bunch of arrows now. We had left some here, apparently. Um, Lewis and Clark didn't know exactly where to go, so they wanted their way to the West Coast. Yeah, but I'm, I'm all, I don't have uh, a partner. Okay, we can't run. Oh, it's not one cold, it's two cold. So when we stepped away from the, the, the wall, we, um, we lost our wind resistance. Um, so yeah, it's two arrows cold outside. <sighs> All right, let's. This is really silly because we're like right next to the house, but this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to sleep an hour here. No one will be used to sacrifice the very good. So, uh, I, I really like roguelike games. And. This this is very much like a roguelike. All the loot is random. The stuff that happens is random. Um, and and when you die, that's it. You lose your character. You you start from scratch. But I benefit from all the science that she did because I I figure out what happens. So the next time I play, I can be smarter. And I, I feel like we've learned a lot already. All right, it's, it's one arrow cold. We're going for it. Fuck, 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 where is it? Where is it?
We dropped a piece of meat. So that's that's a thing we haven't really tried. Let's see what happens. So we dropped a... Um, is he going for it? Is he going for it? Is he going for it? Did he take it? I think he left. Did he take my meat? So I thought he would just sit there and eat it and then I'd be able to shoot him. I didn't even think they could take me. All right, I guess we shouldn't I guess we shouldn't investigate too much. We're safe. We're safe. I I guess he just uh, he took my meat and he went home to to eat it. So Let's go. Let's go for it. Hey, uh, I mean, it was two pounds, so we're two pounds lighter. And I'm, I'm not at all upset that he took my food. All right, so what we're looking for is a passage on the right that has a fallen tree. Fetus calling starving children. You almost shot him. <laughs> um, man, if this game actually had like, I wish th I wish it was more realistic. I wish the wolves weren't these like bloodthirsty monster creatures, and they were just like trying to feed their children. But I don't think. Uh, I don't know why. I, I wish I wish the developers would go down that route. But they're pretty married to the to the wolves being essentially the main antagonist of the game. Uh, to to the point where they've even put a disclaimer at the beginning of the game that says we know that this is not how wolves this is this is when you load the game it's when you start the game it says we know this is not how wolves act um they're acting this way because of circumstances in the game or something i think this is it right that looks like a fallen tree so now what do we go to the left probably we followed this road so let's follow that some bad lumberjack cut trees Maybe they blew over in the wind. Um, all right, we're walking against the wind. That's kind of shitty. And we're getting colder. Looks like we've lost a quarter of our heat. Um, I think it's... I think it's this way. I think I think we saw stuff on the right and left, but it was left first then right. Oh man, she's really slowing down. So um, the reason I kept sleeping is when her eyeball gets about halfway, her max weight goes down until it gets about half. So it'll go from 60 pounds to 30 pounds. Walk backwards to <laughs> avoid spawns in front of you. That's a pretty good uh, idea. It, it does not help with the wind, though. I don't think. I don't know. It feels slow either way. But that's a that's a fun that's a fun idea. Oh my god. Let's see, let's see if we can get behind some of these trees maybe to cut the wind.
Okay. At this point, I have absolutely no idea. I think... I mean, we could be walking to our death. But I want to say it's... We're fine. I think it's up to the left. Time to sky on that mountain. So we tried a little skyrimming before. Her her ankles are very weak, and forget going down the mountains. She'll she'll actually sprain her ankle going up. Um, we sprained her hand going up one time. I think this is it. Um, I guess it's to simulate her using her hands to climb, like it's really steep. I don't know, but she sprained her wrist and her uh, ankles. Uh, <laughs> when you sprain your wrist, you go slow, but when you sprain your... Sorry, when you sprain your ankles, you go slow. But when you sprain your wrist, you can't hold your weapon. And, um... This has got to be it, right? This is a path up and I don't see anything yet but it's got to be it we're actually warming up because we're out of the wind Yeah, the wind is dynamic. It actually models the wind pretty well. So the fact that we're that this hill is in front of us is blocking the wind. You see the the shield at the top? We're shielded from the wind. Please, please, please be it. Please be it. I don't see I don't see a cave. I don't see a mine. But that looks like something. I don't remember this. Let's hug the wall if we can get some wind resistance. This has got to be it. I'll be happy if we never have to come back here. It's like, um... This is totally it. The weather just changes too fast in this region. It, it goes from nice to, uh... To, bl to blizzard in, like, the blink of an eye. Oh, my goodness. On the way home. leave for ourselves. Oh gosh, look at all this stuff we've got to pick up. Flare, rifle. Flare, leather, 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 leather. Flare. There's a bear to greet you at the entrance. <laughs> Can you imagine? I'd be like, well, we're going to live in this region now. This is where we live. Um, I'm going to carry it at least through the cave. But yeah, let, let's carry it through the cave. And then um, we'll drop it on the other side if, if we want. So, wow, that's super heavy. Can we, can we eat any? No, gosh.
I think we accidentally picked up a piece of wood. I'll drop that. I'll drop a stick. Bear with me. It's just gonna be, it's just gonna be a little slow going. But when we get to the other side, I'll drop some stuff. Probably the lantern fuel. Um, at, le at least. We might spend the night here. Um, I'm not sure. I like the swinging. You can have the lamp swing. Oh, going downhill, she's uh, quite agile. Oh, that only lasted for like a second. if she sped up because I've just been holding the button for so long and the game is like look I'll take pity on you all right I'm gonna use the old follow the left wall method Pretend we're playing Mist. Did we put anything in these lockers? Oh, uh, we don't have a pry bar. Oh well. No big. I don't care what's in those lockers. I mean, it could be anything. It could be uh, an expedition park, but it uh, doesn't bother me that we can't open it. Nope. Not one bit. <sighs> Come on, clown. You got this, babe. Guess I'll pick this up too. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go faster. <laughs> what are you talking about, Kevin? No sarcasm. So I really thought that she would go faster. Um, she seemed to go faster over time before, but it's not really happening now. This looks like a dead end, but I'm going to check it out. We... Oh, oh, it's not a dead end. I'm glad that I didn't turn around. But I think we're going to have to put something in here. This is ridiculous. Um, isn't it strange? Oh, there it is. See, she speeds up, but she she didn't do it when I was um, when I had that extra three pounds. 
Oh, it looks like we found the entrance. <clears throat> this cave has a lot of, uh, I think, multiple pathways. Alright, so we're going to put some stuff in these boxes and then that way if we ever need it it won't be too hard to get. Now let's uh, kill the lantern. Alright, I'm going to have to put so the fuel in and the lantern in. So that's 103. There's a, there's a old-fashioned parka here. And I believe we found another one and we repaired it. So let's leave that here. Um, Holy crap, we've got so much stuff. We, we, can't, um, we can't take all this with us. Down the mountain. Let's leave the simple tools. For simple fools. Um... I'm gonna leave some of the Excella. I don't. I don't know. Does that, does that make sense? Uh, leave the lantern fuel. I'm gonna leave a couple flares. So the reason why these are fairly important is uh, there's only a certain amount of leather in the world and uh, you can use these to repair whatever that's made out of leather like your our boots are probably the main thing all right that's we're back in at like somewhat walking speed We have dangerously low amount of water. <clears throat> so, when we get tired, um, this weight is going to be multiplied essentially. So I'm going to take a take a rest. It's actually kind of late. There there was water. So the reason I didn't pick it up is just because of the weight. But yeah, there was water in the container. Um, okay. The weather's not bad. I'm gonna go for it. It's a little risky. Um, it's snow snowing, so as our clothes get wet, it's gonna get colder, and we're gonna get heavier. But I'm going for it. Um, I also don't exactly know how to get off this mountain. We found this place kind of by mistake. Well, we were looking for it, but...
water still have it dies of dehydration. Yeah, exactly. I mean, um, the water is not as important as our um, cattails. Okay, so there's a place we can stay. Oh. I think we I think we went here, but I didn't know to go up here, maybe. I'm not sure. At any rate, we're gonna check this cabin. Maybe we'll stay here for the night. Uh, it depends on how I feel. But I think we're pretty far on one side of the mountain. The good side, I think. See if we've looted this. If we have, we have not. I mean, not that we need any more loot, but that means I really don't know where I am. Handy. And the fact that I don't know where I am. worries me. A hoodie? Uh, oh, what's that? Ooh! I think I can use this. A balaclava! I kind of think this is actually better. I'm not sure I've ever found one of these. I think this is better than the stuff we had. Wait, why can't we wear it? So it's, it needs repairs, but it might be better than our hoodie, hat, our toque. Shoot. So stay here we might have to make a fire. I guess we can actually just drink sodas if we need water. Um, and if things get too dire we can drink those teas. All right let's see see what the weather looks like. If it's changed it sounds like the winds picked up. Yeah it's cold now. All right. So we'll stay here for the night, just to be safe. Um, if I can get a little bit of cloth, I can repair this balaclava and see how it looks. As good as new. So how's it look? Oh yes, it's warmer than our hat. Although our hat's not at 100%. Um, same waterproof, quite a bit more windproof. Very nice. It makes us look a little bit funny. I mean, maybe a lot funny. But, uh... <laughs> but it's warmer. Um, oh, well, and it is definitely night time, because I can't see shit. It's got to be... 
Oh god. There we go. We're not very tired. So, if the weather's good, maybe we can step outside and finish reading that book. Oh. Well, it's an aurora. I wonder if that lets us read inside. It does. Very nice. All right, we finished the book. We can drop it. It's, a, it's another pound. Okay. I have I have good feelings. I feel like we're going to be successful. And uh, success is walking into the door of our house. On Jackrabbit Isle. That's all of our water. So we've got soda. Which I think I'm going to drink soda instead of make a fire. to be a little thirstier. I mean hungrier. Sounds refreshing. survive it's uh it's very pretty but the weather looks horrible where Two arrows cold. I'm just gonna take a little look. Sound like a swing. Just gonna see what's over here. Kinda looks like we can make it down here. And I sort of think I know where I am. Ish. I think we're actually more in the middle. <clears throat> but we'll be able to figure it out as long as we can get to the water um, and we can see. Assuming those two things, we won't get lost. So, let's give it an hour. Really low wind chill, or high wind chill.
But it won't be like this all day. Sounds like it's still like this. Nah, it's fine. All right, let's throw ourselves headfirst down this mountain. Make it to the water. Shoot for Jackrabbit Isle. Uh, it looks like there's something. So... Just rocks. I don't really recognize that rock, but I think, um, I think it's this way. I can't see shit, but I think it's this way, because th that's the log sort or whatever it's called. I, and I think our island's like that way, but I don't want to go to it <clears throat> without being able to see because, uh, yeah, look, here's the bridge, I think. Yeah. So probably we could go like there, but again, I'd rather go to the, uh, the little cabins. Actually, you know what? I can see it. I can see the trees. There was a really funny, interesting um, experiment on Mythbusters where they blindfolded people and uh, had them try to walk straight. And uh, for whatever reason, everybody walked in a circle. It was really interesting. And they, you know, swore up and down that they were walking straight. They thought that they were walking straight. But they were walking in a circle. That's why I want to, uh, that's not, that's not why, but that's the kind of thing that makes me want to be able to see where we're going. Instead of walking into the, uh, with the computer, I can press W and I'm guaranteed to walk straight, but you know what I mean. You get turned around, you look, you look to see, oh, what's over here, what's over here, and then it's like, wait, where was the middle? Here? But this is it. This is our island. And so barring a very uh, rambunctious wolf, I think we're I think we're clear. Hear all of her gear clanging and clacking.
wonder how much water you could get from snow because assuming the the air isn't polluted I think snow is relatively clean like could you lay out a tarp and get the snow and I don't know bring it inside or something I don't know I mean fresh snow you could gather fresh snow why do you have to boil it Home again, home again. Chickity job. Let's check our traps. Not looking too great. Probably what happened is it caught a rabbit, and then the rabbit um, died. I mean, you know, as they do and then decayed. Look at this, we even got meat waiting for us. I missed you, Wood. I missed your refrigerator. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put everything away. Let's see what time it is. Um, I think that I think I might stop there, but I'm gonna put everything away. Then we'll see. Oops. Gonna take that out because it's just taking up space. Uh, I would drink almost anything. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh, good. There's water here. Oh my gosh! Look at all the food. We've got a hundred cattails. I feel like. I feel like we've won the game with a hundred cattails. It could last quite a while. How many bullets we have? Twenty-eight. That's that something.
surprised there's not a pl oh there is a place there we go oh no that's not what I meant so you have to drop it and then you can move it um, okay clothes don't go in there medical doesn't go in there so that's just about it let's pick a place for junk. I don't think these are useful anymore. Okay, so the metal goes in here. Do we not have it? Uh -huh. General crafting. Kind of wondering where all our feathers are. Maybe, maybe we've left them by the workbench. Cause I don't see them here. Maybe we left them by the workbench in the little um, <clears throat> what do you call them? The little doohickeys. So. What I'm going to start doing is leaving the antiseptic, uh, sorry, leaving the dressings for trips because we know now that the antiseptic is less uh, weight efficient. So I think around um, around the home, I'll carry the uh, antiseptic. It sort of makes sense. Now, whatever, that's that's fine. Fifty-six. All right, we've got clothes, so I'm not going to think too much about these now. But we know that well, I think I just lied. So this is 6.6. .6. We actually save two pounds. Uh, we lose two degrees. Oh, it's quite stylish. Maybe this is what we should wear sort of around and then um, all of these are quite heavy. Ski jacket versus urban parka. Urban parka is a bit warmer. I mean, we were wearing nothing. Maybe this best. Is that for that slot? It is. Uh, it's not usually cold in this region, so I'm thinking let's go go light a little bit. We got our nice clothes to go exploring because we didn't know what we find, and it's a good thing we did. It's a good thing we brought the heavy-duty stuff because uh, the weather there was horrible. So here, we've got deer pants, which are 
let's stick with the deer pants. And then, um, switch to cargo pants. So I'm going to fill this up. See you were warm. All right, let's cook this food, and then I think I'm gonna call it a night. <clears throat> so let's get a little bit of wood. I do tend to pick up sticks. Is there anything else? Go ahead and make these. Trying to get up to level five. That will help us as we travel. So what is weighing us down? Sticks water of oh, the water, okay. Just switched. Come on, little fire. Come on. This is the the major downside with this place. Is there's no contained fire. It's a pretty big downside to it. Blast it all. Oh, that's bear. Don't think we're going to be able to... That's a shame. So this is now, I think, the right place to build it, but... Uh... What a pain in the butt, you know? wrong? Oh. What's wrong with that? Guess that's the best we can do. Hopefully the one won't switch again. It'd be neat if you could build a fire barrel. I, w I wish there was more crafting. Um, I mean, it's. I understand they want to control that control the experience but uh, could really make you feel like you worked on a place you know? oh, yeah. 
make it, make it feel like your own. So I sort of feel like we left bear meat in the freezer, but it rotted. I don't know if it just disappears, but there didn't seem to be any there. And I can't believe... We had uh, eaten the perfect amount. I don't know, maybe. Sure, if we're gonna boil all that. Oh, yeah. It's like a painting. Well, that's not going to last for very long, so we're definitely going to have to go hunting. The first thing. Yeah, no meat to be seen. Right, 38 pounds. Still feel like that's kind of heavy. I want to. I want to be under 30 pounds. We'll have to wear fewer clothes, I think. Uh, the hatchet. Is heavy, but we're not going to give up the hatchet. It's just I think it's too good of a uh, fighting tool, and we're never liberally going to be fighting. I think we can get rid of a couple of arrows. Seven. We got the put the stem in. So the food is heavy. Um, but otherwise it's pretty much the clothes. I, let's see. I think I saw a thing that said how heavy the clothes are. I don't, I don't know where it is now. Aha. So it's 16 pounds of clothes. So it would be 20 pounds with just the stuff we're carrying. 16 pounds of clothes. So that may be, we need to make our uh, light a light outfit to, to run around here and hunt and chase deer. Um, it's probably probably makes some amount of sense. I don't know, maybe this is good. Maybe it's a nice balance between 
warmth and weight. At any rate, it's going to be it for today. Um, tomorrow we will be not homebodies, but we're going to hang around this region, I think. Uh, we've got all the stuff. We'll do some hunting, a little exploring, and uh, start thinking about the next little adventure. But um, maybe we'll look for a moose. I know that, that uh, I've seen one before near the gas station. So yeah, that'll be that'll be next time. Um, thanks for coming. Thanks for hanging out. I hope you had fun. Thanks everybody for all the bits. You guys were awesome. Um, I'll keep streaming. So see you next time. Good night.